Hi everyone, Lewis here, and I thought I'd bring some recent news relating to Pokemon Go. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for alerts of when I upload new content to the channel. Especially those with disabilities similar to mine. I am back. I am sorry for the two month hiatus. March and April have been busy months in my life. On top of other things. But, I'm back to talk about a lot of things. Like, for Community Day, which was announced this week, it will be Fennekin. And its shiny form is confirmed. It will learn the move Blast Burn and Mystic Fire. And for one dollar or equal equivalent local currency, you'll have special access to the to the special research story Fur and Flames. Event bonuses include three times Stardust for catching Pokemon, two times chance for trainers level 31 and up to receive XL candies from catching Pokemon incense, except for the daily adventure incense activated during the event will last for three hours. Trades made during the event will require 50% less Stardust. Two times candy for catching Pokemon. Lore modules activated during the event will last for about three hours. Pick up the five snapshots during Community Day for a photobomb encounter from Fennekin. And of course, you'll be able to make one additional special trade, which means you can do up to two for this. And after Community Day will be the bonus raids, which will last from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. local time. And they have to be local. Remote passes will not work. And you'll be able to battle Gregson, Fennekin's evolution. And, and I forgot to mention, if you evolve a Gregson into Deltox, it will learn the moves I mentioned earlier. And there will be a bonus, like there has been since this has been introduced last summer. Fennekin will appear around the gym that hosted the raid for at least 30 minutes and you will have another chance to catch a shiny. And there will also be field research that accompanies this. In other Pokemon news, announced last week will be GoFest 2023. And they'll be appearing in August in person and globally. And we're going to get three locations starting with London, England from August 4th through August 6th. Then Osaka, Japan in the Kansai region. Also that same weekend. And the last and final in-person GoFest will be in New York City from August 18th through the 20th. As for Global GoFest, that will be the 26th through the 27th. And the ticket for Global Go GoFest is for sale in the in-game store for about $15 or equal local currency. As of this recording, tickets for GoFest in London, Osaka, and New York are also for sale.
But of course, unlike the global Go Fest, currently Osaka's Go Fest tickets are not for sale, but tickets for London and New York are still for sale, meaning Osaka could be sold out. Actually, early bird tickets for Osaka are sold out. General mission tickets will go on sale soon. And of course, the other news. Cleavor from Pokemon Legends Arceus, which is the second evolution of Scyther, will make its debut into the game this Saturday from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. local time. And its shiny form is also available for the first time ever. One more thing. As for me returning to streaming, still got some things in my head I'd have to clear up, and which is one of the reasons why I haven't been able to do a lot of these videos as of late. But hopefully, I will resume streaming, and I'll also talk about other exciting news that will hopefully come later down the road this year. Thanks for watching, everyone! You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitch, Facebook, and TikTok. And remember, it's time for adventure!